Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson and here's the seafood news for the week of July 15, 2019. In this week's episode, we investigate what is happening to the tilapia market. This week's 3-Minute Market Insight is brought to you by Tradex Live, the world's seafood marketplace. Go to live.tradexfoods.com to find your seafood offers today. Despite an estimated rise in global tilapia production, it seems there is an overall decline in U.S. imports and popularity for this value-priced whitefish. According to Globefish, global production of tilapia in 2018 is estimated to have increased by 3-4% to to around 6.3 million tons and is forecasted to increase to 6.5 million tons in 2019. China accounts for roughly 28% of the total tilapia production However, their share has been declining to countries such as Egypt, Indonesia, and Brazil. Tilapia production from these other countries are not necessarily being produced for export, but instead are being used for domestic markets. Take a look at this chart we compiled on U.S. imports of tilapia using data from the National Marine Fisheries Service. 2017 saw U.S. imports of frozen tilapia fillets skyrocket to 121,000 tons compared to 18,000 tons in the previous year. 2017 also saw an increase in exports of tilapia into the U.S. from other countries. In 2018, demand for tilapia in the U.S. did not show much signs of growth with frozen fillet imports of just 2,000 tons. More, or 2,000 tons more than 2017. For 2019, we are now seeing limited U.S. imports of tilapia products from other countries. A combination of a shift in consumer preference, trade barriers, and more domestic consumption of non-USA tilapia producing countries are all contributing factors. Back in China, steady downward trends in pricing and deteriorated market conditions in the U.S. have seen some Chinese aquaculture producers explore alternative species. U.S. imports of tilapia from China are now subject to a 25% tariff as well. Traders, importers in the U.S. that purchase tilapia needs in anticipation of tariff hikes are possibly left with heavy inventories amidst falling prices and weakened demand. Current FOB pricing in the U.S. for 5-7 to seven ounce tilapia fillets are hovering around the $2.30 a pound U.S. dollar mark. Around the same time last year, 5-7 to seven tilapia fillets were around $1.90. Current raw material inventories of tilapia in China are at some of, some of the lowest levels of the year. Raw materials pricing in China haven't changed much within the last month and are about $4.30 uh, per 500 grams. Recent tariffs do not seem to have much influence on tilapia raw materials as farmers have extremely fixed costs. The peak season for the tilapia production in China is between April to August. Then in September is when the prices start their upward rise until Chinese New Year. For tilapia to stay competitive in the North American markets, it will need some price relief and marketers will need to market heavily to attract existing and new customers. One emerging trend in the U.S. retail sector is the tilapia loin. The tilapia loin is considered to be the premium cut of the fillet and has been seen marketed as late grown and farm raised without antibiotics. If you are interested in premium quality chem-free tilapia loins or fillets, please contact us at Tradex Foods. And finally, our Tradex Live offer of the week is for 5-7 to seven ounce tilapia fillets. This is a special buy that is offered only on through Tradex Live. These are number one quality, single frozen, boneless, skinless, 100% net weight and priced at $2.20 a pound US FOB Chicago. Click or tap the icon above to view the details of this offer. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.